At some point in time, you've probably come across this meme. Konnichiwa. Oagu kawaii shaku-chan desu. Kaori. Jump out the window. Hello. I'm here regarding your tax return. Kaori. Jump out the window. Or this other variation of it. Knock knock. LOL. Oh my god. It's Jesus Christ. Get in the car. It's Luigi time. And you've probably wondered, where did this come from? What is the story behind this meme? Well, that's what we are going to be looking at today. The meme is from a manga called Gyo by Junji Ito, who is a very well-known Japanese horror manga artist. And once you see his very distinctive style, it's pretty easy to point out which mangas are his and which ones aren't. Now, Gyo is a very interesting horror manga. It has about 20 chapters of it. And with each chapter, it just manages to somehow get weirder and weirder to the point where you're so fascinated by what's happening that you completely forget that this overall plot is very, very dumb. But the story starts off with our main character, Tadashi and his girlfriend, Kori. And they are out having a nice little scuba vacation in Okinawa when Tadashi almost gets attacked by a shark and he hurries up, he swims back onto the ship, he's sitting there panting. <sighs> he almost has died, dude. And his girlfriend's like, babe, what are we having for dinner tonight? Like, she is so not caring that this dude almost died. Like, if I almost got eaten by a shark, you can bet your ass I'm, like, tweeting that stuff. Like, I'm gonna be trying to get some sympathy. See, like, I'm gonna be doing whatever I can to make the most of it. And his girlfriend is like, babe, can we, like, get out of here? But the reason she's wanting to get out of here is because Corey has a really strong sense of smell. So bad smells and bad odors tend to really bother her. Apparently, she is, like, a superhero and her superpower is just having a really strong nose. Like, imagine Tanjiro if he couldn't fight and did nothing but complain all day. That would pretty much be her. So as they get back to their lover's nest, Tadashi tries to put the moves on his girl. She immediately shuts that down. She's like, dude, you smell like, did you step in dog shit? Like, you are, oh my god. And that just leads to a huge fight. These two are like the worst couple I've ever seen. And it gets so bad that Corey's like, all right, I'm going back to Tokyo right now. And just like walks off into the night. Doesn't even bother bringing her stuff. She's like, I'm out of here. Feminism this, feminism that. I can walk outside at night. And just like prances off into the darkness. And our boy Tadashi is a mega simp and ends up following her. And that's when they kind of come across their first instances of the horror that awaits. But they only manage to see the shadow of it. And they do not see the full thing until they get back to the house and Tadashi manages to kill it. And it turns out to be this weird fish-like creature that is able to walk. This is the thing that has been emitting this terrible odor that Corey's been smelling. And Tadashi, having the five head mega brain alpha sigma chad mindset, is like, yo, this might be an undiscovered species. Like, we need to get this to like a, a scientist, a doctor, a mathematician, somebody smart. And Corey's like, no, get rid of it, throw it away. So he puts it in a trash bag, and it's absolutely hilarious because this thing is emitting gas, and it ends up filling up the trash bag. And this thing somehow manages to fill the trash bag up like a balloon and float around the house chasing these two it's absolutely absurd but hilarious and they end up chasing this thing all the way to the beach where they come across even more of these fish like things just like dead sprinting out of the ocean and i mean like they tell the cop about it but Corey's like pissed off at him and doesn't like back him up with the cop she just like stays silent she pulls the silent treatment out and the cop's like these fucking kids dude what am i doing here i should have just studied dance like i always wanted to wow well, god damn you dad so they end up going back to their house and while they're doing that we get a little montage of all these fish coming out of the ocean and we get this one of the shark full sprinting onto the beach and just like nomming on some random beachgoers <laughs> and it's meant to kind of be like this horrible thing for some reason i just couldn't help but laugh and then we cut back to the world's worst couple ever, and Tadashi again is trying to like put the moves on her, but Corey now has like Vietnam era PTSD, and whenever she thinks she has like a whiff of the smell, she goes into like a full panic attack and like starts like talking about the Vietnamese in the trees. But she catches sight of something right outside, and it's the goddamn great white shark with legs just scoping around the neighborhood looking for some prime real estate. Shikes! And somehow this great white shark is able to like figure out that they're inside this building and like tries to break in and that's where we get the first part of this meme was when he sees the shark and immediately slams the door and then he yells Corey jump out the window so she almost jumps out the window sees a bunch of more fish like creatures and then she pulls a total woman moment and just keeps screaming and running like you know how in like every video ever of a fight there's always those women screaming in the background that that's Corey that that's what she would be 
So she just keeps screaming and running through the house. Hadashi's like trying to catch up to her. Meanwhile, this apex predator of the sea is just like clawing its way through the house, trying desperately to kill them. And while all that's happening, we cut to a nice scene of a hammerhead shark going down on a cop. I thought that was pretty neat. I like little romances like that. Then we cut back to them still continually running from the shark and Corey is completely useless. And then she goes, and then she has the balls to be like, Tadashi, take care of that thing. And he has the most logical response. He's like, I, how you, that, you want me to fight a goddamn shark? And then that's when we get the next instance of the meme. The shark breaks through. He breaks down the door and sends Tadashi flying. And that's when he picks up like this coat rack hanger thing. And somehow he's able to use this flimsy piece of metal that would definitely break. And he uses it to hit the shark out the window, I guess. This shark probably weighs a couple hundred pounds. I don't, listen, I'm not a scientist. I don't think that would work. They're not going to be taking any Ws. They're, they're going to be taking the Ls. And look at the hole that they tried to say that the shark fit through. How did this giant great white shark fit through that itty bitty hole? I don't know. And that's all the first like four or five chapters of the manga. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder from that. And there really isn't much known about when this meme had started to like arrive on the internet. This manga is from 2001, so it's very, very old. So we really don't know when exactly this thing first started popping up. But I'm going to go ahead and assume very, very early internet days, like probably before a lot of you were even on the internet. Also, there is an anime of this manga and they changed out a couple of the characters. And the anime scene of the shark is just as funny as the manga scene. <laughs> So that has been the origin story of this meme. This manga creator has tons of other memes based off his work, and I do plan on checking those out because this stuff is fascinating. I love getting behind the actual story of a lot of memes based off of mangas. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that way you get notified. And that's it. See you in the next one. Peace.